guys, it's Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a will I buy it video. And I'm just going to be going over all of the latest product releases from the past couple weeks and just be discussing on whether I'm going to buy them or not. And just share with you my opinion about them and discussing whether I'll be buying it or passing on it. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and let's get into it. So I'm just going to right off the bat talk off talk about one of the most obvious things that a lot of people have been talking about whether they're going to be buying or not and that is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe um, vault collection and this is like their part three I guess to their collaborations and I do have the original Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I was planning on buying this but in case you haven't heard the launch has now been delayed and as of right now when I'm filming this they have yet to release on when they will be officially releasing it. So I was really wanting to buy this because I absolutely love the formula in the original Jaclyn Hill palette and they said that the formula is the exact same. So I was really wanting to buy it. It is four palettes. One is a more like blue green tone like smoky palette. The other one is there's one that's a purpley toned one. There's a red toned one and a more of like a bright yellow orange toned one. So I was definitely wanting like three of them and then that's like $45 because they're $15 each or you can get the whole collection for $49. So I was like might as well just go ahead and get the whole collection. And I like that they did smaller palettes this time versus the big palette just because it'll be easier when I do want to go into it and I can kind of select which palette based on you know what kind of tone look I want to go for whether it's a purple, a bright yellow or a um, kind of red warm tone. So I can kind of based on that versus pulling out the whole big palette and then trying to kind of look at it from there because sometimes I am a bit overwhelmed by that big palette and the same goes for all Morphe palettes. So I really like that they did smaller palettes and it makes it a lot easier for people like me and every uh, and other everyday people that don't necessarily have you know the creative mind to sit there and look at a big palette and decide like ooh I want to do this color and this color and this color. It simplifies it down for them. So I was really happy with that. And they also put a mirror in the palette and they put the shade names on the palette underneath the shade which were some of the complaints that people had from the original palette so it's really nice to hear that they took everyone's advice and um and put it into this new release so i was super excited about this and i was super bummed when i heard that it was being delayed and i really wish they would just release on when they are going to do the official launch date but as of right now, like I said, I have not heard anything about when the new release is going to be. But I definitely think when I do find out, I think I am just trying to get it. The reason why they put the delay on was because apparently there was inconsistencies in production and it wasn't up to their standard, which I'm super happy to hear that rather than having millions of people buy it and then them discovering that, them just discovering it right off the bat when they sent out the PR packages to beauty influencers and then them kind of realizing, hey, like this isn't up to y'all's normal standard, what's going on with this? And then Jaclyn Hill and Linda from Morphe looked at it and was like, this is not up to our standards, you know, we're pulling the plug. So that is really nice to hear that they decided to do that. But like I said, I'm still kind of bummed out about that, but hopefully everything will be straightened out about it and the quality will still be up to the standards of the original Jack on the Hill palette and if it is I will definitely be buying it. The next thing I'm thinking about buying is the Jeffree Star the Thirsty palette and I'm kind of on the fence about this because when I originally saw it I definitely wanted to buy it but I've been getting more colorful shades in my collection lately so now that I have some other palettes that have some colorful shades now I'm looking at this and not quite sure. I think I still do want to buy it. It is already released when I'm filming this. So I think I still am going to buy it. I just don't think I'm in quite of a hurry to buy it. So I think I am still going to get it. I'm not sure when, but I think like if I am making a purchase off the Morphe website or the Jeffree Star website, I think I'll definitely throw it in my cart because Jeffree Star Cosmetics is sold on the Morphe website and in Morphe stores. But that palette retails for $48 and like I said, I believe it was already released. Um, I know there's a lot of palettes that I'm talking about, but that's kind of what interests me. But the next thing I want to talk about is the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade palette. And I, this is going to be launched on the 19th of June, which I, has already passed. So this um, palette is already released and it retails for $42. 
and I think this is a really pretty palette. It has some nice warm tones in it and some nice colorful shimmers, but the couple mattes that it has in the palette, I know I already have colors like that in my collection, so those don't really interest me. And I don't know, I just don't get too excited about shimmers. Mattes, like like beautiful, colorful mattes is what really excites me. Every now, and then, every now and then I'll get excited about a nice shimmer, but it's not too often. And when I take out the mattes out of that palette, everything else just kind of looks really similar and not too colorful and exciting. So I do think I'm going to pass on this one. Another palette I want to talk about is the Violet Voss, Violet Voss Flamingo Palette. And this will be out, I still don't, they probably have a launch date out, but last I saw it just said mid-July was going to, when it was going to be released, so it's not out yet, and it'll retail for $45, just like their normal palettes. Um, and when I first saw the picture of this, I definitely did want to get it. I will admit that. I did want to get it, but like I said, when I, when I take a look at each individual shade, I see a lot in there that I know I already have, like all the mattes I know I have. There's just a few, you know, colorful blue shades and some colorful, like, pink and purple shades that I don't have. So I'm still on the fence about this a little bit, but I think I might pass on it. I may change my mind later on down in the future. I don't believe this is a limited edition palette. So maybe I'll change my mind later on in the future, but as of, as of right now, I don't. I think I'm just going to kind of save my money on this one. Lately, I've been really... When I'm looking at palettes, I've been really trying to be very more, a lot more picky about what I choose to buy just because I do have a larger palette collection. So a lot of, I do have a lot of shades that are in these newer palettes I already have in my collection. So I've been trying to just really be picky about it unless it's like a launch or a brand or formula that I'm super excited about, then I'll get it. But other than that, I've been trying to be really picky about it. And kind of going along that same lines, the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette, when I first saw it, I was like, yes, this is right at my alley. This looks beautiful. Definitely going to get this. But then after that initial reaction, I kind of really looked at the picture and was like, is there anything truly special about this palette? Do I have any, do I not have any of these shades in my other palettes? So I kind of kept looking at it and it is just a more generic, warm tone, neutral palette. So there's nothing really too special about it, so I do think I'm going to pass on it. Like I said, maybe one day down the line I might change my mind, I don't know, but as of right now I don't think I will be getting it just because it's not too special. And then same goes for the Mel Cosmetics 27 palette that they just um, announced. This will be released on June 27th, and this this honestly this looks so similar to the Naked Heat palette. And I don't even have that palette in my collection just because when that palette came out, I was like, everything looks so similar. I have so many similar shades in my collection. So I passed on the Naked Heat one, and this looks completely identical to it, pretty much. So I definitely think I'm going to pass on this one. It's just a simple, warm tone neutral palette, and it's nothing really special. I did want the, the Gemini palette that they came out with, like, the other month. I did really like that one, and I want, I, like, I would have gotten that one. I wanted to get it. But they had that one so limited edition for so little time. Like, as soon as they were sold out, that was it. They weren't coming back with it. Which, that's really, like, honestly, like, in my opinion, that's horrible of a company to do that. Because it's, like, I understand when things are limited edition, but when you hype it up so much and it sells out so fast and you have no plans of restocking it at least once, that's kind of, like, a lot of people that wanted that palette, such as myself, probably just got screwed out of that. I usually, when it comes to new releases... Unless it's like something I'm uber uber excited about and I don't want to miss out on, I will not purchase a palette right when it's released. I will usually kind of wait, watch some reviews, wait to see what other people's feedback is and if the hype, hype kind of dies down and I'm still not excited about it, I'll just kind of move on. I won't really get it. Maybe later on down the future or whatever. Or if, like I said, it the hype does stay, everyone does enjoy it and all the reviews are good about it and I'm still wanting it. Then when it usually, after it sells out and comes back in stock, then I'll get it. But with Melt Cosmetics, with that Gemini palette, they just, after it sold out, that was it. Gone. Which is kind of sucky for, like I said, people like me that I'm, I was waiting on people to review it and talk about it and hear some, you know, feedback on it. If it was truly worth, because that was an expensive palette, I believe it was like $56. So, to truly spend like $56 on a palette, I want to make sure it's going to be good 
and worth my money and so therefore I need to wait for people to do reviews on it but by the time those reviews come up the palette sold out and never to come back so that's just my opinion and I think that really sucks and I believe that's oh no I have one more palette and it is the Fenty Beauty this is the Moroccan vibe palette it's some nice like dusty rose tones it is really pretty I'm not exactly sure on this one just because I know I've never I don't think I've bought anything from Fenty Beauty yet. Yeah, I don't think I've bought anything from Fenty Beauty. Um, this palette does look nice. It doesn't scream at me too much and give me too much inspiration. Like, I see a few looks I could get out of it, but I don't know. It's just not giving me too much inspiration, so I don't think I'm going to get on this. Like I said, maybe down the line in the future if I see it and it starts sparking some interest in me and some inspiration, I might pick it up. But as of right now, I think I'm going to pass on that. I feel like I'm being really negative in this video. So far there's like only two things I'm planning on maybe getting. Um, Alright, let's move on from... Okay, there's one more palette, but it's, not, it's a face palette. This is um, the Glam Glow... What is this called? The Glow Powder Highlight Palette, I think it's called. It's infused with hyaluronic acid. And it says it's available now. This kind of, this does kind of spark my interest a little bit. I don't think it's worth me placing like an online order for it, but if I'm in Sephora and I see it, I might grab it. But it's really pretty. All the shades, most of the shades, it looks like I would be able to use. So, and I have dry skin, so I love anything that has hyaluronic acid in it. So I'm actually really excited about that. So I definitely think I might be picking that up. All right, next thing is the... Huda Beauty setting powders. Um, I'm just right. I'm not getting these. I do not get excited about setting powders unless there's like something majorly different about them. But just regular old setting powders, I do not get excited about. I have dry skin, so I don't really have that many setting powders. I have a few that I like, and I tend to stick with those. I don't really like powder to begin with, like I said, because I have dry skin. So powders do not excite me whatsoever. So I am completely passing on this one. Um, the next thing I'll talk about is the Urban Decay Lip Mousse. I'm honestly a little bit confused by this. I definitely would like to see some reviews of this and maybe even swatch it in store. But as of right now, I don't think I would be planning on getting this. Like I said, unless the reviews are like, this is the best lip product ever, or I swatch it in store and it feels like so nice and creamy. Like, I don't know. I'm honestly just, like I said, a little bit confused by this. So, I honestly, I can't say right now that I would be getting these, but if for some reason the reviews end up being great, or I swatch it in store and it feels beautiful, I might pick it up then, but as of right now, I don't know. Um, the Chrissy Teigen um, and Becca Cosmetics collaboration, I don't think I'm going to get even the highlight, definitely not the body glow, because I just don't like paying for high-end body glows I don't think they're worth it I just like mixing like a liquid highlighter into my lotion and that works perfectly fine so I'm not going to get the body glow and then the highlight that they revealed it looks pretty but I could only really use the top maybe that middle shade but definitely not that bottom shade um this does definitely look like something meant for more deeper skin tones which would make sense because Chrissy Teigen has deeper skin tone so that makes sense but I don't know, it's just a highlight. Becca has so many highlighters. I know what I like in a highlight, and these don't really have that, so I think I'm going to be passing on that. Oh, and then the last thing I want to talk about is the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. When I first saw the release of that, I definitely, without a doubt, was like, yes, 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 I want to get that, I want to get that. I love the No Filter Concealer, so I was like, without a doubt, yes. The only thing that has kind of pulled me in and back a little bit is the fact that I've heard people saying it's more of a matte foundation so I don't know I do still think I'm gonna pick it up just because I love Colourpop I love the no filter concealer like all their products I usually like so I do think I might, I might pick it up but I'm just now a little bit more weary about it because like I said I've kind of heard it's more of a semi matte to matte foundation which concerns me with my dry skin but I haven't heard like it's 
by people with dry skin, I haven't heard anyone say that it's overly drying on their skin. And I think if I just kind of moisturize really good underneath, put on a nice moisturizing primer, I'll probably be fine. So I do think I'm going to pick this up. And that is everything I have to share with you guys today. Um, I hope this got you guys thinking about whether you want to buy or not. I know I put in a lot of things that I'm not planning on buying. But like I said, sometimes you just have to really look at a product and think, do I really need this? Do I have anything similar to this in my collection? And unfortunately, a lot of the product releases that have come out lately, I'm looking at it and I'm like, I don't need this. I have something like this in my collection. So there's nothing too much that's getting me excited right now. So like I said, I hope that gets you guys thinking. And so make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.